It's a ventilation duct used by the bots to connect between different parts of the building. It won't budge. I'll need to wait until that bot comes back. Okay, so do we need to go through there or is there another way? Oh, what's that? Someone forgot to close their locker. There's a uniform in here. It probably belongs to a maintenance worker or a cleaner. Put it on. Oh, looking very nice. Very nice indeed. You've still got no arse though. Right, can we go through there now? It won't budge. I need to wait until that bot comes back. Okay, then let's wait. Come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. Right, get through there. Locked. Who are you? Are you new? Yes, I am new. I should use this to my advantage. I should just tell her the truth, or I might as well just go with the flow. Um. Yeah, let's go with the flow. Yes. Uh, yes, I, I just started. I'm going up to um, the fourth floor to... Well, go on then. Don't waste my time. Also, for your information, they don't like it when you talk to anyone, so don't. Don't talk to me first, then. Right, so we're going to the fourth floor. So, hmm. no, nothing. Sorry. <clears throat> what? Sorry, just clearing my throat. Dry air. Sorry. Oh. Dry. Mm-hmm. Almost there. <sighs> well, that was thrilling. You look at this. Very swanky. Please stop immediately, honoured guest. Please, honoured guest, do not leave the waiting area without an authorised escort. Thank you, and have a fulfilling and productive day. Thank you. All right, okay. We need to hide from that robot by the looks of it. Why is coming back? We're going these doors. No. Oh no no no! Get off there. We're going that one. No. Oh, shh, shh. Get down there. Hide behind there.
Well, let's go. All right, come on. Emergency exit. It's probably hooked up to an alarm system. It's closed. It's closed. Well, where are we going then? In here. Oh, who are you? This must be Damien Kavanagh's office. And that's the only person I see in here. So, Damien? Speak Hello. to him. Can I help you? Are you Damien? I'm looking for Damien Kavanagh. Speaking, well, what do you need? I have clearance to work today. I don't work here. I'm a friend of Reza Tamiz, Jericho. Jericho? Jesus, how did you... Hold on a second, let me just... What did you just do? I made sure that this remains a private conversation. How did you get in here? This place is a bloody fortress. I'm getting good at finding my way into impenetrable fortresses. I'm Zoe. Damien Cav, you already know who I am, which I find sort of disturbing. I told Jericho that he couldn't talk to anyone about this. Did Jericho send you? I haven't been able to contact him. Jericho's gone. Something's happened to him. But he left me enough info to locate you. He's disappeared? Oh, Jesus. That's not good. But what about Rio? She went to see Jericho five days ago. Is she... Are you close? We work together. Why? What's happened? I think she's dead. Are you serious? Oh, Jesus. I'm in way over my head on this one. I shouldn't have asked her to go. What happened to her? I don't know. I found her in Jericho's apartment. She was hooked up to this white plastic thing, and there were wires going into her head. The Dreamer. What? That's what it's called. A dreamer. It's not supposed to kill you. I know. They hooked me up to one. Who hooked you up to a dreamer? Two girls. Twins. I don't know who they work for, but I'm guessing they're connected to your company. I've seen them around. They work for Miss Gilmore, the president. I think maybe they got to Rio as well. And they're after Jerick... after Reza. I was hoping he'd made it here. I haven't heard from him since Thursday. Sorry. Rio rang me when she got into Casablanca and told me she'd met with Jericho. That must have been right before... I found her in Jericho's apartment, and minutes later the Eye raided the place. I was arrested, but they let me go the next morning. Is there anyone who isn't involved in this? This? What? I decided to track Reza down in order to help him. He's my best friend. But I don't know what this is, or what I've gotten myself involved in. Me now either. Reza's vanished. And you're the only lead I have left. Can you please just tell me what this is? Yeah, go on. Anything. Only what I've picked up on the way here. Reza never shares his stories with me. I know that Watty Corp is working on something, and that they've been testing it out on people in Newport. You called it the Dreamer. I know that the Dreamer is probably connected to the Static somehow, and that is most likely what Reza was investigating in the first place. And I also know that Watty Corp is keen to keep all of this under wraps. Keen enough to kill people. Apart from that, I have no idea who you are, what you've told Reza, what Rio was doing in his apartment, and what this dreamer thing is all about. So you're going to have to fill me in, and I'm not leaving here until you do. I've come too far to go back now. Yeah, so if I can't talk. Help Reza, at least I want to know why. I want the truth. And now. Well. Okay. I understand you want the truth. I wish I could tell you. I'm putting myself at great risk here, Zoe. I don't know who you are. For all I know, you could be working for the corporation. And then again, if you do, I'm already done for anyway, so... You're right about all of it. We, uh, water corpse working on something big. The Dreamer. It's a device that'll let you dream anything you've got a mind to dream. 
Lucid dreams. You're awake and in control. Can you just imagine the possibilities? Every other entertainment medium would simply disappear overnight. Why watch a movie when you can dream it? It was destined to be the biggest thing in history, and it was supposed to go on the market in a few months from now. However, about three months ago, something happened. There was a contamination in the network that connects each Dreamer console with the central processor, Dreamcore. I used to work on the network code, the parts that link the Dreamers with Dreamnet. When the problem appeared, my bosses asked me to head up the group charged with identifying the problem on this end, to weed out the bugs. What we discovered was that Dreamnet was beginning to slip out of our control. There was a contamination, but it wasn't a bug. It wasn't internal. We dun, figured dun, someone had hacked into the network and introduced a virus or worm. Something sneaky and adaptable. It didn't take me long to realize there was a link between the static and our problems. The static wasn't the cause. It was the effect. Whatever had infiltrated Dreamnet was, for lack of a better word, leaking out onto the wire, causing glitches and system crashes. When I told my supervisors, I was instructed to not ask any questions and to just keep working on the problem. So I did what they told me, but at the same time, I started digging deeper on my own. And that's when I met Rio. She was working with the biological systems that run our code and operates Dreamnet, the central processor known as Dreamcore. She'd been digging too, and like me, she'd reached an impasse. So we started working together to identify and nail down the contamination. We figured that sooner or later the static would be traced back to Watercorp, and then we'd be out of a job. Besides, it was getting serious. People were dying. So we kept digging. And then one day, about a week ago, we discovered something that changed everything. We discovered the truth behind Project Altura, behind Dreamnet, behind the Dreamers. Wadi isn't making these things to entertain people. They're making them to spy on and to control people. Dreamnet was designed to record people's dreams. And Dreamcore was designed to analyze them. Wadi Corp can extract private and personal information about anyone who's ever been connected to a Dreamer. And that's just the beginning. By feeding data back through the Dreamer, they can plant thoughts, instructions, even hypnotic suggestions in people's heads. Dreamnet is the biggest brainwashing experiment of all time, disguised as mindless entertainment. We've and been attached to one of them. It. What? Uh, oh, right. Exactly. Someone's trying to take control of the network, the most dangerous weapon of all time. Rio and I, we realized we had to tell someone. But we also knew that the corporation would do anything to protect their secret. If we went to the media, we'd be dead. We had to find someone with the guts to expose Wati, while protecting our identities. The hand that bites. Who better to expose this conspiracy than Jericho and his notorious feed? We knew he wouldn't be afraid to go up against Watercorp. So we got in touch, and then Rio went over to Casablanca to meet him. She brought a, a prototype dreamer with her to prove we weren't crazy. We knew the risk, but what else could we do? And now... I, I can't believe Rio's dead. And Jericho. I'm afraid that if nothing's done, this'll keep escalating. The static will get worse, Dreamnet will be hijacked, or, or the corporation will launch the Dreamer. Anywhere you turn it, it's bad. Real bad. This is... And you're sure about this, Damien? It sounds like... like science fiction. The people behind it seem to believe that it's possible. And the Dreamer works. I've tried it many times. It's incredible. Like nothing you've ever experienced. But to know that they have free access to your innermost thoughts. I won't use it again, that's for sure. Not with everything I know now. Is there anything you can do to stop it? I don't know. I've been thinking about it since I first realized what was happening. The static's starting to kill people, and if the Dreamer launches, I... I, I, I don't want to think about what might happen then. So yes, something can probably be done, but I can't do it by myself. The plan was for Rio to help me when she got back from Casablanca. I don't know who else to trust, so I'm a bit stuck. You can trust me. Yeah, I know, but you're not... I, I can't just ask... 
Why would you want to help? Why? How can I not help? I may not be any closer to finding Reza, but at least I can do my part in exposing this conspiracy. It's too dangerous. You could get caught. Or worse. If you knew what I'd been through these past few days, you wouldn't say that. Whatever it is you need me to do, I'll do it. Are you sure? Damien, we don't have a choice. This is what Reza was doing. He was taking a stand. He was risking his life to expose Watikorp. I can't run away from this one. I have to do this. For Reza. For everyone. For myself. Sounds like you've really thought this one through. Okay, if you're sure. I'm sure. Well, you've definitely arrived in the nick of time. If we're doing this, we have to do it now. Just tell me what we're doing. I'm ready. Okay, good. So we need evidence. We need to know where the intrusion is coming from, and we need to stop the static from causing any more damage. So how do we do all that? I have to stay here. This is the only place I can access the system from. You, on the other hand... You're going on a long hike into the Wati Caves. Thank God I thought that conversation was never going to end. From the time I opened this door, you have oh, to, shut up. to make it down to minus 58. That shouldn't be too hard. At least you don't have to go up. Yet. I'm fit. You definitely look it. Okay. Hey! Up. Keep your eyes to yourself. Alright, Zoe. So you know what to do. I go down to sub-level 58. In exactly half an hour from now, you'll disengage the alarm, and I'll open the door. Remember that once you're through, the door will be tagged for maintenance by the security systems. If you open it again before the schedule of time, we're screwed. I got that. And the rest of it? I got it. All of it. Good. Keep in mind that I can't call you while we're inside the building, so we won't be in touch until this is over. Best of luck, Zoe. Thanks, Damien. You too. Right, we're going down. I need to go all the way down to minus 58. You're not going to make me walk all the way down there, are you? Because that would be ridiculous. What number are we on? 57. Still a few minutes left. I have to wait. Okay then. We go in now. It's green. Time to go. Let's go. Oh, it's another one of them damn things. First off, keep an eye out for spiders. If they spot you, you're toast. Use doorways and ventilation shafts to hide in when they're close. Stay quiet and out of sight, and you'll be fine. All right. So in order to get into the Dream Core itself, you need to find a way into the offices surrounding the core room. And to do that, we have to cut the power to the doors. I can shut down the necessary grids if you can patch me into the closed circuit system down there. Locate and remove the wall panel marked PSA1 and upload the software I gave you directly into the system. The panel is on the outer wall of the hallway, on the opposite side of where you come in, close to the doors to subsection 2. Maybe hard to spot, so keep your eyes open. And remember to keep your eyes and ears open for spiders. I want you back in one piece. What a load of waffle. Where are we going? Those elevators go up to the ground floor, but I won't be going up that way, unfortunately. Well, I can hear that spider thing.
Alright, get out. No. Oh, right, no, go on, hide. Get out of there! Come on, get out! What are you doing? This is a closed environment. Get and off! That's where the air is coming from. Go! Can we get in there? No. What's that? There's something in that wall. Open There's it then. There's a sliding panel here, and it's marked PSA1. That's the one. Open it then. It's open. I can access the closed circuit system now. It's access open. it then. I can access the closed circuit system now. Oh, do we need to use the mobile? I'll yep. just upload Damien's software into the closed circuit system. There. That should allow him to shut off the power to the office doors. As soon as you upload the patch, I'll be able to shut off the power to the doors. After that, you should be able to get into the offices. Unfortunately, the door to the core room itself will still be locked. It operates on its own secure grid. And the only way to get into the core is to use an authorized access key. We'll get to that later. Now, you need to scan the bioworm I gave you, and before you can do that, you'll need to place it in a special capsule. You'll find those capsules in the laboratory just down the hall from the panel. Okay, so we need to find a laboratory, but we'll do that in the next episode. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you've got any comments, please leave them in the section below. Please rate, please subscribe, and please like if you would like to. But for now, thank you for watching, and goodbye.